Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create dot grid in Word with different size, shape and color. Before I continue, I would like you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for future tutorial updates. You can download this template from the link in the description below. So first, let me start with a new file. I'll just go to the file new blank document and now I'll go to the view check grid lines so we need the grid lines now we'll just go to the insert take a shape take circle and then draw a circle see uh, the circle should exactly fit in this uh, grid square so the size is approximately 0 0.13 inches height and width so if it doesn't fit you can just create a circle here somewhere and then you can bring this here see I'll do it again I'll just go to the insert shapes and then circle and 0 0.13 0 0.13 now you can bring this here exactly into the grid now what you can do is you can just make multiple copies of this circle so you can just hold the control key on your keyboard and then click and drag so this is one thing you can do hold the control key and click and drag now the other thing what you can do is you can just select the shape and press the ctrl d keys on your keyboard so you can press ctrl d like this and then place the circle so now i am going to just copy this holding uh, ctrl and click and drag or ctrl d both works say sometimes this works like this see when when you first press ctrl d it copies uh, on the other uh, on the other direction so what you can do is you can just move this here and then press the ctrl d keys so this also does the job so i'm done with the first line what we can do is we can select everything by going to the select on the home tab so you can just go to the select select objects select all the circles and then group them together so you can go to the format group and group and then now you can just copy this but uh, in the uh, y direction so I can just uh, press the control D to copy this so now I can do one trick I can just select everything like this then hold control click and drag this fastens the process select everything then copy this see make sure it perfectly sits on the grid so the, by default the snap is on so it will it should sit on the grid exactly so uh, this is a bit faster process now i think i am almost done so only two or three lines left so i can just copy this now it's done now what you can do is you can just zoom this out just zoom out now select everything select everything and now this is the time we are going to set the height and width for the circles to uh, meet your requirement now uh, this can be done by going to the format tab 
now for the height I can set the measurement I want so now before that I will need to ungroup the shapes so I will just go to group and ungroup since we have grouped everything we had grouped everything now we need to ungroup this then set the size so now if you set the size it will set the size for individual circles so now I'll just enter 0 0.02 and 0 0.02 or let us test 0 0.01 itself 0 0.01 one and 0 0.01 press the enter key and now you can just fill the shape with black and outline also should be black now don't click away group this by going to group and group and now we can align this to the middle of the page so we can just go to the align and then make sure that align to page is checked then click on align middle and again go to the align and click on align center so this centers the dots to the page now uh, we can just uh, you know uh, hide the grid lines we can just go to the view and uncheck the grid lines now you can see the dots grid is created now now let us test this with different settings different size colors and shapes so to do that i'll just insert a new page so before uh, inserting a new page what you can do is you can just press the control plus end keys on your keyboard so this will bring your cursor at the end of the page then you can just go to the layout and then breaks and click on page so this uh, ensures that the page ins is inserted after the first page now I'll just paste this here so I can just uh, go to the home tab select select object select everything all the dots copy this and then come to the second page and paste now we can just move this to the center I'll go to format align center align middle now what you can do is uh, before changing the settings you you should have to ungroup it otherwise it will be applied for the uh, entire shape group so go to group and click on ungroup now let me zoom this a little bit I'll just zoom it to 100% so this is the 100% now let me make this a little bit bigger size let me make it 0 0.02 and 0 0.02 so we can just regroup this again regroup now I'll click away and check see this is 0 0.02 and this is 0 0.01 now let me insert one more page so I can just press the control plus end keys on my keyboard and then I'll just go to the insert and uh, sorry layout and then breaks and page so this inserts another blank page now I'll just paste that because it was already in the memory I'll just simply click on the paste now I'll just uh, try a little bit a different setting so I'll just ungroup this first ungroup then let me in increase this to 0 0.1 or let me try 0 0.04 0 0.04 now let me group this I mean regroup this now I'll just align this to the center and the middle see so in this way you can just create dots grid of different size see they are of different size now so now again let us uh, you know try one more we'll just uh, press the control end keys insert a new page 
new blank page and then paste now I'll ungroup this and let me try with a slightly bigger size so 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 here and now I'll just group them together now align center and align middle now I'll click away and see how it looks so this is how it looks in 0 0.1 inches okay now let us try replacing this circle with a different shape so again I'm going to press the control and end keys and then I will insert a new page layout page and then paste it and then I will ungroup them now I'll just increase the measurement for 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 And now to change the shape what you can do is you can just click on the change shape and then click on the shape that you want say if you want the triangle you can just click on the triangle and now I can just say 0.1 0.1 okay now let me change fill this with the color and then I will just you know apply the same for the outline now we will just regroup this and then align center align middle now you can see that the shapes are replaced and also a different color is applied so uh, now let us try once once again I'll just press the control and end keys and then I'll just go to layout breaks page so you can also press the control and enter keys to insert a blank page and now I'll just paste see this was already in the memory so now I'll just go to the format ungroup and then change shape with a different one say this one and then 0 0.1 0 0.1 and change the fill color change the outline color as well with the same color as the fill now I'll just group them and then I'll just align center line middle now I think you got uh, my point so you have understood how to create dot grids uh, with different size different shape and color so i hope you like this tutorial so please give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel and bring more of your friends to my channel i'll see you all in the next video until then it's bye from hbninfotech.com